let's record. There we go, recording. Okay, so you said I mostly just collect contacts. <laughs> I want to do more, and of course my ears went ding. You're right. right. So most of us have a relationship management, and I'm not even gonna call them relationships because our contact management systems are not creating relationships for us. They're holding data. And so when I saw you post that, that's what I thought of, right? Is that we all have these CRMs and that they're really doing nothing. They're not doing a lot for us other than, thank God we can go into them and go, oh yeah, that's that person, right? Yeah. Exactly. But there's not a real active component in those relationship management systems that um, are really helping us build those strong relationships. And so I was so excited when I asked Judy, you know, what was her business? You know, cold, warm, blend. She said, hey, it's all about relationships. And so that she said it. That's what this call is going to be about. It's all about relationships. And so you reference LinkedIn. Hey, how do I use LinkedIn? Okay, so this could be LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, any, any social media, any networking event. When you meet anybody, because LinkedIn is just a platform to meet people, right? So the first thing that I want to talk about, because and this is what I said to Corey, I'm like, well, what are you, what are you trying to get from LinkedIn? What are you trying to accomplish in LinkedIn? And so, Corey, tell me a little bit about what you said, and then we'll go there. Well, pretty much, I, I myself, I like I said, I've just been a collector of people, really, contacts. And, you know, I've made a lot of connections, but from there, I haven't done much because I guess I haven't known what to say or how to reach out necessarily and how to build those relationships to turn them into something, <laughs> anything down the road. Excellent. Okay. So that's exactly what you said to me. And I was like, so I asked you a bunch of questions, didn't I? Yep. Lots of questions. Okay. So, um, the first thing that we have to do with mindset is, and this is hard and this is even really hard for me. But it's not what can I get, it's what can I get. Right? Um, can you mute, if you've got background noise, can you just mute yourself? And then of course, if you have a question, unmute yourself. Hello? There you go, all right. There we go, okay, I got everybody. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do, and we, we will speak specifically about LinkedIn, but it's gonna apply to any of them, is, the, the mindset that we have to have is I am going to begin it, begin a relationship, yeah. right? So that has to be our first, that's our, has to be our first mindset is that this isn't, what do I do on LinkedIn to get a listing? What do I do on LinkedIn to get a buyer, right? What do I do on LinkedIn to get a referral for one of those things? That can't be our first place, even though we're gonna have to fight that urge. And we're going to have to go into LinkedIn and then again in, in some su subsequent teachings, we'll teach specifically how to do it in LinkedIn. But you said, what do I say? Exactly. And what you're saying is, is how do I begin a new relationship, right? right. Exactly. When, it, when it's cold like that. And so some of you have been in your markets for a long time. I know you've been in your market, Corey. And so you know a lot of people and it's kind of easy when you know them and your, you go to, your kids go to school with them or they're your dentist or something. But, you know, in these cold places, how does it not come across creepy, let's be honest, or, or spammy, or, oh my God, someone is just trying to attack me with their MLM or they're, you know, like they're trying to get something from me. And so how that looks like in anything is, hey, and this is what I do. People, you know, you get this. People friend you on Facebook all the time. You have no idea who they are. And so this is what I say is if I'm the sender of it, hey, I noticed in your profile that you also love growing flowers, right? Like we're business people. Like I love it. You know, I'm a business person, but I raise dahlias, right? Yeah. 
So, or I see that you love this nonprofit, or I see that you have a special skill in this, or I see that you coach, or I see dot, dot, dot. I would love to get to know you more and see how we can help each other grow our businesses, right? So that's, that's a real easy one. And it's, I get so many awesome responses. I have to give some screenshots of what people say. Um, but they all respond with, you know, awesome. Love that. We talk about the thing, you know, what we just connected over, which was flowers, kids, nonprofit, whatever, right? God, whatever, you know, oh, I see you love Jesus. Like, you're going to hear that from me. I'm big Jesus freak. People come to me all the time. I love that you talk about Jesus, you know? And some people hate that I talk about Jesus. And so we might not connect. And so that first place with LinkedIn is even though that that was a platform that was created to really help business people connect with each other to find resources, right? So if I need a guy who does IT, I can go find that in my LinkedIn sphere. So as real estate agents, um, obviously, if we are just trying to find awesome people that we can get to know in our local communities, how can we help them in their business, right? So the logical places to start would be other self-employed business people, right? Um, maybe versus somebody who's just an employee with dot, dot, dot company. And, and the only reason I say that is because they might work on widgets and they're not out looking for people, right? right. So I'm just gonna say strategically, you would want to look for people in LinkedIn that, um, that are people who are also looking for the same person you might do a real estate transaction for, right? Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. You wanna partner with people who know people. And, and, that, and that they could benefit from you because you know a lot of people that you could refer them. So if you're always thinking in your mind, how could I help this person on LinkedIn? Because the, the, the adage is true. Help enough people get what they want, you'll get exactly what you want. That is 100% true, right? And so what I've started doing um, in my own practice, and, and I do a little bit different. I recruit real estate agents and I coach them. And then I also do a send out cards business, which is a relationship marketing company. It's a tool. And I specifically teach real estate agents how to use relationship marketing specifically with send out cards because it's so effective. But what I teach the agent is how to go talk to new business owners. Now we can find them through LinkedIn, which this is awesome. And this premise works the same. Okay. So there's still this nice conversation. How do we connect? What made me connect to you or why did you connect to me? right? Like a lot of times you'll get those LinkedIn requests or those Facebook requests and you have no idea who they are. So what I say to them is, hey, thanks for connecting. What made you reach out to me? What about my profile interested you about me? Right? And I love that. <laughs> yeah, isn't that good? And, um, and so what they do is they say, well, like honestly, somehow sometimes I think I accidentally from people and they're like, oh, what, you know, thanks. Why did you connect? I'm like, God, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea. So, like, I'll say that. And I'm like, let me go look and see, you know, and then I'll find something. Sometimes it's late night Facebook friending, right? Right. And, um, but in, in reality, we're friending people probably because there's a, there's a joint friend and there could be, you know, joint interest, exactly. but, but we get a lot of those ourselves. And so that's how you do that. Thanks for connecting. What was it about my profile that made you reach out to me? Right. And then they're going to respond and then you're going to respond and that's called building a relationship, right? Yeah. And then it's paying attention to their posts. It's commenting on their posts. It's high-fiving their posts, right? It's then that building and paying attention to, oh, that person is, you know, has a, let's just say a carpet cleaning business. I'm just going to use that as an example. That's a great one for us real estate agents because we always need carpets cleaned in our homes, right? Yep. And so you, what, what an awesome way that you can say, hey, George, it was so great that we connected. Coincidentally, you know, 
um, you know, I've got a property that's going to need to have the carpets clean. Could you come over and take a look at it? Yeah. I always try to be the first one that gives without expecting or without asking for that, right? right. I like to be the giver instead of the asker, the, the getter. And so that's what everybody is doing. They're sadly going on, and, and I've had some people even in my organization, they're like, oh, I started using LinkedIn. And I'm like, and no one's responding. I'm like, okay, well, what are you doing? Well, they friend them, and then they send their thing. And right. I'm like, okay, that's just creepy. And that's what I get. And I think that that's, I mean, I get so many messages and so many people wanting to connect. And then I'm sitting there going, um, I don't really know who you are. And you're just like reaching out, trying to sell me something. And that's what I, that's what I don't want. I right. don't want to sound like some salesperson just, you know, in it for me. I mean, right. You know. Yep. So first step is <clears throat> if you've connected with them, Hey, I noticed in your profile, this is our commonality. Right. Would love to get to know you better and would love to know what I can do to help you be successful in your business. Or if you want to go, you know, a little bit more, <laughs> you could go love to get to know more about you and see how we can help each other in our businesses. I honestly go with the first one. How can I help you be successful in your business? Right? Yeah. Okay. I think that feels, that feels better. I mean, for, for some people, it might be exactly the opposite. But for me, I think the first one feels better. And, and really, if you aren't interested in just helping them with no tied outcome, then you need to say the second part. Right. So don't, right. Be, don't be unauthentic, right? So really, if you don't give a crap, like you're only <laughs> in it because you want, you want it to be reciprocal, there's some relationships with people, I'm reciprocal. I'm like, I'm actually not interested in just helping you. Right? right. Like right. I'm, I'll help you if you help me. So right. there's some people, but most of the people that I meet until they give me a reason not to be like that, I'm like, I'm going to help you because right. just, just with what I believe you reap what you sow. Right. So that's my biblical belief. Right. And so, um, and so number two, then you've made that initial connection and then see how they respond. And then it's, then it's doing exactly what you just said. Okay, if they're a carpet cleaning business or they're a painter, and again, look for people who, excuse me, are natural partners in our real estate businesses, right? Yep. And, and, then, and then you may, that's going to honestly make you start looking. And guess what? That's going to start expanding your network. Real estate agents are horrible about expanding their networks, yep. right? We sit around, honestly, we spend more time on Facebook. <laughs> yes, I need to know the secret bullet information, right? Then going and actually finding someone that you could actually do business with. We're all looking for the magic bullet. Guys, 22 years in this business, 2,500 deals. There's no friggin' magic bullet except hard ass work. Right. And getting and, out and of I, the chair. Yep. Right, Corey? Yep. Yep. Getting I've out of the chair. years and it's exactly that. It's yep. There, there's no way to just make it happen if you have to make it happen. That's right. Right. And then some of us work really hard, but we actually don't like, cause there's so much that comes at us in real estate, Facebook ads, LinkedIn, send out cards, ugh, online, offline, Buffini, this one, pop buys. There's so many things. So the first thing that I'm going to say to you is you have to find what feels good in your core, right? So some people are like, I was great at cold calling. I actually liked cold people better than the warm, right? Because I, one, I thought agents, cause I came from mortgage banking into real estate and I didn't like real estate agents. And so I thought everyone didn't like real estate agents. And, um, and so it was really easy for me to just go cold call people, right? And, and I had, I knew exactly what I was offering. I positioned myself above my competition. I won out over them all the time. I did almost a hundred deals my first year in a brand new market, um, knowing no one, right? But that's because I was willing to be hung up on a ton, right? And so that's the other thing. Real estate agents have to be willing to do what others aren't. That's what makes you successful, right, Corey? Yeah, right? I, would, I would agree yep. with that. So that was the hard way though. I'm just going to be honest. 
And I didn't have the relationship component because I was so volume, 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 volume. And I was amazing at getting you, amazing at transacting you. And then ah, you were out of my sight. That's why you send out cards now. It is my now stay in touch, but I use it to get. I use it in between and I use it after, right? So whatever you're using, I don't care if you use send out cards or not. It's just the easiest, cheapest thing than handwriting notes that frankly get thrown in the trash, right? Because they're customized. So, but whatever you're doing, as long as you have a system for it, right? And you are consistently implementing your system and you're doing your daily money-making activities, whether that's an hour a day of money-making activity, right? And so in, in my opinion and what I've seen in 22 years, the greatest thing that I can do in my money-making activity time is building those relationships. Whether it's a physical pop-by, which I don't have time to do, so I do card pop-bys, okay? That's what I teach my agents is card pop-bys. Um, or it's a phone call. In my money-making activity time, that's what I'm doing, right? This is the other thing, guys, in LinkedIn um, and, and anything. When you find the connectors in your community, when you find the people in your community that know everybody, the woman that's on the PTA, she knows everybody, right? Yeah. I mean, we all know those people in our community. Those are the ones that you want to connect with because it's like, instead of going to someone that you might get one transaction out of, right? You, the, the, the again, if I'm going to, we only have so many hours in a day, 24 seven, right? We only have so much. So if we only have that much time, then what are we, where do we want to spend our time? I want to spend it. If I go talk to that person that they can get me in front of a hundred or 50 people. Right? right. So it's exactly. the same thing. in LinkedIn. It's leverage. Right. So LinkedIn is going to be the same thing, right? LinkedIn, I'm going to want to look at who's somebody that's connected to a lot of people. Who's somebody that's really local, who's connected locally, right? So those are all of the things that you can do within LinkedIn and you can identify, you know, who's, who's their sphere, who are, who are they connected to? Right. So, and, that, and that's something I think that in my people collecting <laughs> yes. that I, that I've done and it's just been the follow up or doing anything with them after I've connected. So. Right. So again, I do send out cards. That's a whole other call. And I'm happy to, if anyone's interested in it, um, we can show you where the follow-up is. That's where everyone fails. It's just because it's not because we don't have great intentions. It's just follow a lot. Follow-up is key, right? <laughs> follow-up and yeah. everything is critical. Okay. And, um, and so um, that's just the simplest way I have found. You know, if you find a way that's working where you're getting people calling you, that's the biggest thing is how many people really call after a, you know, a thank you card. I mean, just a handwritten. Some do, right? I find when I put their pictures all over it, you know, wow, one, it, it exactly. personalizes it, right? And they yeah. keep it and there's longevity to it. So um, you want to begin a relationship on LinkedIn, but that's exactly what you're doing. You're beginning relationships and relationships take time and energy and intention and you know, in cards, you know, or, right? I mean, that's what I do. And, um, and you know, and how can I help you and how can I help you and how can I support you and how I, I can I support how, you? Right. I love, how can I, I help how, you grow your business? Exactly. Right. Okay. Right. And, and then just the reciprocity again, they're, they're going to say, okay, so now how do I help you? Well, I'm a real estate agent, you know, and I would, and I would love it if, and I always say this to people cause I don't want them to feel cause this is the other thing is that everybody knows a hundred real estate agents, right? right. So right. what I say to kind of just give them like, 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 cause they're thinking, Oh God, my mom's a realtor. <laughs> my wife's best friends are realtor. Right. right. This exactly. is what I say to them because I could still earn out over them. And this is how commitment sending business, like God, your, your, your friends never send me any deals. Your friends right. never send me carpet cleaning jobs, right? They <laughs> right. don't send me cards and brownies. No, seriously, like this is true, okay? And yeah. so, but this is why I say, I'm like, listen, every, and I get, I just let them off the hook right away. Hey, listen, 
I know everybody knows a lot of real estate agents. You probably have family members that are real estate agents. Everybody's a real estate agent. I would just love that if I was one of your top three that you would think of when you refer your real estate business out. And if I'm not, show me how I can be. I love that. Yes. Yes. Because that definitely opens up the conversation, you know? Exactly. So what can I do to earn your business? Right? We don't ever say that. We don't ever say, what can I do to earn your business? We're always like, give me your business. Yep. What can I do to earn your business? What can I do to earn your referrals? Right? Sorry, I'm writing this down. No, and I'm, I'm going to record this. And yes. for everybody that was on it, I'll send you the recording. I'll just upload it into YouTube and you guys can have it. Because I've given a lot of language and, and scripting to use. You've got to make it your own, right? But I've given you some ways to respond on LinkedIn when you're giving and receiving new connections, right? And anything, it works in Facebook. I use it in all of it. Um, and, then, and then it's about the relationship. So it's about what can you bring to the relationship, right? And, and, then, and then it is getting out, expanding that. So do some, I always tell people online and offline. It's not all or the other, right? Or it's not one or the other. <clears throat> so go into your communities. So do a few on LinkedIn. And then go into your community, whether it's a networking event. I went to a zoning office a couple of days ago. I went with a client. And, um, okay, zoning. Like, it'd probably be good to know the people in zoning, right? Yeah. So the lady that was at the front desk who, you know, she's a frigging gatekeeper. She's the one who lets you through to everybody. She was amazing. She was so helpful. I got her card. I mean, I got her business card. I went, it literally went into the parking lot, uploaded it into my send out card, and she got a card and brownies, right? <laughs> Love it. You sent me to another lady. I got her information. Hey, I'm looking forward to our meeting card. Okay. Like I haven't even had a meeting, but she's getting a card saying, thank you for the time. I'm going to see you next week. Right. 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 Now, exactly. who are they going to, they're the zoning office. Okay. Yeah. I might they need zoning help, <laughs> yeah. but they're also, when people come in to do their plans and they're talking and we're going to sell our other house because we're going to build a house. Oh my God. You have to call Cheyenne. Exactly. Right. That's, that's how it happens, guys. People, I hear agents too often say, I don't have anybody to talk to. I don't have anyone in my sphere. Then get up out of your chair and get out and go meet people. Go join things. We all know that. Go join things. Find your interests, your kids' things. Volunteer. And, and be intentional. Not in getting, but in giving. Exactly. Right? It, it's more about what you can do for others. I mean, yes, your intention is obviously to have a business and, to earn and all of that, but your intention should always be what you can do to help others because it brings more back to you. And it's going to expand your network. In yes. our business, we're looking at expanding our network, expanding our referrals, predictable bill. We want predictability, which is why you build relationships because then you build, even though our business is transactional, you can actually build a passively transactional business because it's based on referrals. It's based right. on relationship, right? So if Facebook, because guys, for all of you that are just Facebook, what if, Frickin' Zuckerberg tomorrow went through his little Congress thing and they're like, yeah, you can't do Facebook anymore. Or guess what? What if you get, I got in Facebook jail one day. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I have all my groups, all my stuff. And this is what God showed me. Don't you put all your eggs in that one basket. Right. So guess what? Exactly. We have to have our offline baskets because online could go away at any time. And if you've only built in online things or things that you don't have full control over you have full control over sitting with coffee and getting to know someone and being of value in their life right so we're just teaching it how to use it in, in linkedin facebook yep. so this is part one i hope this was um beneficial and you learn some things and you can go do some immediate things right so okay so what do you do now now you got to take action you just learned some stuff right so what's the action all right go connect with some people on linkedin Go find people that have some things in your community that you can help them. You can help them and go friend two or three. What if you just did one a day? Exactly. One a day is possible, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And especially even just talking. I mean, I think I normally set aside three hours for my money making activities every day. Yep. And 
it, it is, you know, trying to reach out to different people and connect with different people. But I think a lot of times, you know, that can get scary. So I love that you've given, you know, some more, some more kind of scripting, what else you can say, because that's, I mean, I think that that's needed a lot because I think people get stuck in their heads and not knowing what to say, guessing everything. Exactly. Right. And, and honestly, most real estate companies and brokers are teaching this. Pick up the phone, call your person. Hey, hi, Joe. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah, it's, it's Cheyenne. Yeah, Cheyenne with uh, eXp Realty. But I learned this at Keller, okay? So, you know, it was power hour, right? The big Keller yeah. Williams power hour. Everybody's on the phone calling everybody. Yeah, 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 good. Just checking in. Yeah, and, every, and everyone's like, okay, what do I say? Yeah, because you're trying to get something, right? Exactly. Trying to get. Listen. So this is how that conversation needs to change, or I'm going to show you even better way. So, hey, it's Cheyenne, right? EXP Realty. It's great to talk with you. Listen, I haven't, you know, we haven't talked since your transaction. How are things? How's the house? Uh, you know, this is past client, right? Obviously, I'm calling right. past client, right. right? Listen, I'm just updating my, you know, all my information. Um, and I would love to just, you know, new babies, new grandbabies. I'm going to catch up with people, right? Right. Um, but let's just say I have been staying in touch with them and, and there's a lot of systems that say call once a quarter, right? right. So it's like, okay, so again, knowing who they are, what they do, right? Are they self-employed? Do they work for someone? Hey, how's your business going? How's your job going? Is there anything that I can do to help you in your business? You know, um, can I pray for you? I mean, I say that for people all the time. Like, is there anything that I can just do for your family? Can I pray for you? Can I, you know, anything I'm just here, just, you know, is there anything I can do for you? Um, what I do now, again, is I, I still do phone calls. Um, I obviously, I'm not doing full-time real estate, so I do other things, but I still make phone calls to people, but I send cards first. Again, I don't care if you send out cards, you do a handwritten note card. Send something out because what I find is with the send out cards, because I'm sending them something so heartfelt with their pictures, they're calling me. Right. And so what I do is they're thanking me for what I've just sent them. I never talk about business. I don't say what I do or what I'm looking right. for, right? Um, we just talk, but I still may take that time to update their information just to make sure that everything is good. But nine times out of 10 in real estate, what do they say when they call you? So how's the market, right? They right. always say that. How's the market? So this is why I say to agents, you want to stop making the, cold, the calls and want people calling you? Send something out first that prompts a response from them that then gives you an opportunity to connect with them, right? And that makes so much sense. So, exactly. And it's, it's been working brilliantly. And because people are, they're like, ooh, I know I'm gonna sound salesy and I don't know what to say. And so we, again, we have to find reasons of why we're having that phone call. And if it is to, you know, like maybe they're um, a mom with small children, right? Like, hey, how's it going? Like, how's daycare going, you know? like. Listen, if, you know, I've, if I have a teenager, if you ever need a babysitter or if you, you know, like those are the kinds of things that we need to think about and, and it takes some time. So what, if we're going to do those kind of calls the night before we need to think about, okay, what is it that I could do for that one or two people? And guess what? It doesn't have to be 20, right. one or two, one, one meaningful conversation a day five days a week is 20 meaningful conversations a month. Exactly. And that's amazing. I mean, you know, when you look at the numbers and they always say real estate is a numbers game, you know? So right. you look at the numbers and you think about that and you think about what would it mean to me if someone reached out to me and said, you know what, I, I could help you in this way or not necessarily like, Oh, I can sell your house for you, <laughs> right. you know, but right. Let me, let me help you. How, what right. do you need? Right. Or, this is the other thing. And I've been just testing this a little bit. <clears throat> I find things that are of value that save people time because yep. like grocery services, like people who are, we're so busy, we all need things. And so <clears throat> what I've started doing um, is putting a list together of things that I find that save time for me. And so, you know what I do? I can make that my call. Hey, listen, I'm always trying to find things that bring value to the people in my life. And this is something, this is, a, and it, honestly, this is new. This is this new grocery service. And guess what? Some people can't afford that. I get it. And I get it's not for everybody. 
But you know, like if you're a working mom to spend 10 bucks to have someone do your grocery shopping and 25 to deliver it, there's weeks that that's, I have to do that. Right. Okay. Or, or someone in my family is not eating. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, but those kind of things, Hey, I found this great app. Hey, I found this great service, right? Something that could save you time, give you more quality time, because this is what I'm all about guys. Quality relationships and time in our lives. Yeah. Real estate will suck it from you. Yeah. People will suck it. So don't, first of all, have hours. We're kind of getting in a whole freaking buddy. <laughs> this is 22 years of this doing this. So I'm giving you some valuable tips. Set hours. You are not available 24 seven. You can't even ever be in my sphere again if you're 24 seven people. <laughs> you have hours because then they'll respect you. They won't think you're an idiot like all other realtors. Oh, I'm 24 seven, like a freaking badge of honor. That's crap. That means you're putting them above you. Right. And, and that's something I have so struggled with because I, I do tend to give everything, you know, I give away all of my power. I give away everything and let, yeah. And I don't take that time necessarily for myself. And I've been struggling this last year has been kind of an exploration in, okay, I need to make me number one, you know, I mean, and I need to be selfish for me because there is, there is that need. I can't give away everything I have. Nope. So set boundaries, set yep. time. So give your, give yourselves a schedule. So listen, I work Monday through Fridays and you can get me from eight until six, right? I work Mondays one to five and I work Sundays, da, da, da. I don't work Sundays. So, um, yeah, and I never did. And day one, I started that in my business and I put those hours on my phone. You're not going to get a call from me, right? We're not curing cancer. All right. We're, 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 you know, we're doing real estate. Now, if you're in the middle of a transaction and there's some stuff, sure. I mean, am I going to pick up the phone? Right. Maybe, <laughs> you know, like some things can wait till tomorrow. Like we have to start being okay with that guys, because our families and our bodies and our health and all of those things have to come first. They right. do so that we can be amazing in those hours that we've designated for those people. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to end this call here. Um, actually, I'm going to open it up for questions and because we are 40 minutes into this and right. I want to keep it at 30. So, um, uh, uh, Colleen, and you guys can unmute yourself. You can type it in the chat box. Do you have any questions? Um, do you, let me ask you this. Uh, Colleen, how long have you been practicing real estate? You can unmute yourself in the bottom left corner. 